Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so Dota Plus came out a about a day ago. Um, I wanted to get to at least look around the system a bit to see uh, how everything looks, how it plays out. Um, there's a couple aspects I like to it, but there's definitely a couple things that I I think they could do better. Um, one of the big things I just don't like. Well, there's a couple big things. One is the damage. You can only see yourself. Um, I think you should have the opportunity to choose uh, who did what damage during um, the game. I can't I can't select any of these people. I only see myself, which if I'm ever curious and I'm paying for this, I want to be able to see all the information presented, and it's not presenting enough. Um, I want to be able to uh, definitely see more information regarding these two pages. So like this is just, just kind of useless. So you can compare it, but I don't think this really matters that much because every game is different. Um, say you have like, a good game or a terrible game. For example, I'm not a fucking divine shadow fiend. I'm a terrible shadow fiend. Um, there's no way this this means nothing to me. You know, I don't think this should mean anything to other players as well. Um, it's pretty much going to be the same looking graph for each and every hero. Is that it's slowly just going to go up. This is every hero you're going to look at. Slowly just rises. Um, damage again, missing tons of information. Um, I think this is this is this is okay. I do like how it's set up. It's nice and neat. You know exactly what's going on. Right click damage, raise, a requiem, a yules. That's about all I need to that game. Um, you see with that exactly what's going on to each hero. Cool. Um, one more thing that I think is pretty amazing is uh, this information is huge. Um, you see the differences between each bracket as well, or what they go. So if I'm a, if I'm on, this is Herald, maybe I don't know. I think this is Herald. If I'm a Herald player, and I want to know what and fuck a divine player is going on Treant, I have it right here. You know, Tree or sometimes some people take that. Help more people take it in a uh, divine, maybe better than what people think it is. I'm um, in Herald. Um, and the the win percentage definitely shows by three percent compared to one point one. Maybe they need something to learn from there. There's so many possibilities. I'm in room for improvement for lower skill player now. I think players now. Um, I'm definitely not a high school player at all. But uh, Dota needs more people. Uh, not bringing in nearly as many people as it should at this point. Um, Dota's kind of falling behind compared to League of Legends, which I feel is constantly growing. Um, and I hate League of Legends, but the game the game knows how to grow, and Dota just doesn't know how to do that. So I think for new players who really want to get into it, because they're already so far behind, because Dota's and it's it's more more towards the end of its life cycle, um, for you know being one of the most popular games. Um, this is gonna help the new players if they really want to take it serious. Dota Plus four dollars a month. And now they have all this information at their fingertips, which is pretty amazing. Definitely like that. As for in-game suggestions, it's terrible. Um, the lanes it shows are almost always horrible. I've seen safe lane Zeus in every single time I open the I open a game. It's always telling me to go safe lane Zeus. I I don't understand that. I've never never had a game where safe lane Zeus was viable. Um, that's pretty useless. What I hate, I don't like the runes. Runes mean nothing. I guess some people like it to track their progress, but it's it's pretty useless. Uh, there's nothing to really track. Like I mean, mega kill streaks, triple kills, low leading to kills, uh, blinks leading to kills, towers destroyed, minion tower damage cool. I don't think it really matters. This, to me, none of this matters. And especially like one second. Let me show you. Pudge. Let's see. Email. Blink leading to kills. Dinner. Channels canceled. Triple kills. You rarely get triple kills with Pudge. Found runes taken. Like I just I don't I don't know. It maybe just be me. I don't I don't care for any of this. Um, I guess for people who maybe play unranked, this is their new, you know new, you know, will or want to play. Keep playing, which is cool for them. To me, I just it's like the battle pass. I never really got into getting the crazy skins, but I know some people are, so 
four dollars a month. I say that's pretty cool. Battle passes are usually ten to fifteen. Um, Soda Plus itself. Whoever wants to load up. Yeah, the hero progression. I already went through that. Uh, yeah, three ninety nine a month, which is it's stupid cheap. None of this matters. None of this matters. The relics don't matter at all. Uh, hero chat. You can use it to tilt people. That'll be fun. We're gonna use you know Shadow Fiend. Uh, to tilt everybody in mid lane now, which will be great. Leak the review. Um, I don't know. A reward. I'm so sorry. Doesn't really matter. Again, if you want to get the skins, pretty cool. Um, cheap way for people to earn skins now. They can work towards them. No longer you know, pay for roulette for each of your skins. Now you can work towards them. Of course, you had to pay fee to get into the skins, but you know that's okay. Okay, for some people at least. I don't use it for the skins really. I use it for the information it provides. Um, plus assistance, blah blah blah. None of this matters. Eyes ingestion. This is always pretty horrible. Um, honestly, it, it's just it's just bad. Um, I I think I've had maybe one or two games where I've looked at one. I'm like, all right, you know, I'll I'll choose that. Um, I don't know where they get the information. I don't get it. A lot of people saying this is pay to win. Um, I don't think it is. I think no matter what, if you're a person, you're going to make your own choice on what you want to pick for uh, abilities. Um, and a lot of this is going to help. I think the lower lower skill players, this is great for them. But if you're mid 2K and up, you're going to know what item, what uh, skill build to do go if you're playing a hero. Like it's just, this is simple. Really, really simple. Because suggestions, this is always terrible. Always terrible. I don't know where they got these. In my game, my game, I'd have a Zeus safe lane. I have a bounty off lane or a Pudge off lane. Like it's just random things thrown in. This is this has to be photoshopped. Has to be. I've never had such a great. I'm not even gonna say that's great. I've never had such a okay or a decent um a decent uh, suggestion. Um, one thing I have seen is it shows roaming. Spots. So that's pretty good. Um, I think again, lower skill, or maybe even like you know, uh, two or three K players will not really think they need a roamer sometimes. And if they see that, maybe one time they go, oh, well, let's get a roamer. And believe me, bounty hunter right now is so overpicked, and the hero does a lot. So bounty hunter, just pick him for MMR boys. Death summary. I've never really looked at it. Um, I've looked at it a couple times. To me, it didn't really matter that much. Um, kind of same thing as before. I think this is okay, but if you have eyes, you can see exactly what happened. So, uh, whatever. Playing strategy doesn't really matter. Post game analysis does not really. I've said that before. It does not matter. Global rank trends. This is pretty great. This is what a lot of people are gonna buy it for. Um, this because there's so much more information compared to Dota Buff. Again, Dota Buff is free. For four dollars a month, I'm okay with spending. I've played this game for years. Um, love this. This is great. Real time comparative analytics don't really matter about that to me. I've I think this is more annoying. I wish I could disable this. Um, I I hate having this large block of text in the top left that's constantly changing in multiple areas. Uh, and they need to have a way to disable some of the stuff that you buy. I don't I don't think that should be mandatory to have. It's pretty annoying to look at the whole game. Um, spectator win probability graft. I don't care about this. This does not matter to me whatsoever. Uh, I don't think this matters to anybody. But if it does, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I just I don't have any want this. But I guess maybe it'll maybe it's good for some people. Not for me though. Plus perks. This is what you get. Um, battle cup, which I know people love. I think they have a battle cup every day. I think there should be a constant battle cup going on every single day. I don't know why they make it per week. They'd have so many uh, more team players coming to the game, you know, because some people don't want to play solo queue. Um, solo queue's tilting. And during uh, Battle Pass seasons, this is what people wait for. Like, people wait to play this. Um, cool, they're bringing it around more often, but I think it should be a daily thing. I think it should be a Battle Cup queue constantly up. I'm not Valve, though. But that's just nice. Uh, I'll definitely jump in uh, on this with a few people. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, I guess you get 20,000 shards, which is, um, I guess that's a lot. 
I don't know. I've only I only had like maybe seven thousand now. I spent a couple thousand. I just have no reason to want to spend any more. A seasonal terrain. Um, it's okay. Nothing special. Nothing special. And that's it. Um. So again, this is this is better for lower skill players that's wanting to learn the game. If they take Dota serious, this is this is gonna be what they're gonna buy. Um, and then for high up players, uh, you know, players who know the game, they know the basics, but they feel like they want to improve uh, better for stats wise or just to learn. Because Dota is really about knowledge, the game sense, um, game knowledge. This is what they're gonna do, man? They're gonna look at this. All right, let me let me see what's going on with this. Okay, and you know, 5k enough or divine. Uh, they go plus eight health regen instead of 150 cast range. You know, and it's maybe something that I I would have maybe gone to 150 cast range. I don't know if without looking through this or seeing what's really better. Um, two decay uh cooldown, minus two seconds. Most likely, I would have probably clicked uh, gains reincarnation. I don't play this hero much. Um, but there's 16% win rate over the other one. That's, that's huge. I would have no idea. Um, while I'm in-game, I'll go ahead and I can just literally just go to it or immediately. Don't have to go to Dota buff. Don't have to look anything up. Click on the hero, and I see what I need to see. So overall, it's pretty good. There are things they need to work on. They could have added more information. I think over time, uh, more information will be added. Um... But I, I don't I don't mind it. I think it's pretty nice. Then you of course you have these, you have the uh sets which I don't I don't say any of this is pay to win. More sets to buy. These are older sets, which some of them are pretty nice. They have a punch set in here. Don't know where it is. How about this one? I always wanted terrible Oh, there's a pudge. Uh, this is gonna be everywhere now. Everyone's gonna have this set on pudge. Yeah, hero relics means nothing to me. Uh maybe this just isn't my thing. I don't really care about all that but overall it's good again good for new players um people say it's pay to win i think uh, i think that's just reddit users just being reddit uh i mean that means nothing i don't i couldn't see how this could be pay to win in any way um if anything it makes picks and suggestions terrible and that can mislead a lot of a lot of players but again overall it's okay um, high school player is going to use this. This is amazing. So they could do a lot more with it. And I think in time it'll come. So that's my first uh, first little review for Dota Plus. I think it's worth $4. $4 is nothing. Especially uh, for a lot of people that play this game for years. $4 is just a couple pennies. Compared to what we've probably spent on fucking terrible skins. Just random shit over time. And I've sold half my stuff. and Random skins I've bought. Alright guys, uh, that's my review for Dota Plus. I think it's pretty good. I recommend $4 buy. Just to try it out at least. If you don't like it after that, of course you don't resubscribe. I don't believe it is uh, automatic resubscribe. I think you have to resubscribe every month. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.